I got to ask you this question because it, it is really like, you know, I hear about it sometimes too. And I'm just, there is something that is really so evident with you that I find just, you love teaching. Like That's you, right. like I, I can just feel like when you talk about it, when you share practices, but you also, you also left the classroom and doing this stuff. And it's like, Oh, you like, like how was that transition? And does it mean you like, does it mean you're like, yeah, but I was sick of it. Like, what does that mean? Cause I think a lot of people feel that once you leave the classroom, it's like, you no longer love teaching. And I think that's totally wrong. And I, I guarantee there's some people that are like, I'm out, like I'm doing anything yes. else, but yes. that's not something I feel with you at all. Right. I feel that you have this love, this passion, and you want to truly help educators not only become better, but find that love that you have. Like, am I wrong there? Like, how do you see that? Cause I, I, like, I, I feel that how much you love teaching just in the conversation with you. And it's absolutely, it's, it's infectious for sure. Thank you for that. Yeah. It is the greatest profession on the freaking planet. Can, can I say freaking on this podcast? Is that yes. all right? Yes. In, Texas, in, in Texas, in a specific district, so I was not allowed to say freaking because it, it alludes to something else. So I needed to make sure that <laughs> right. this was it. I got but, you. Yes. I just, I, there is, it is the greatest profession and I know that we're going through a lot, but, but as a teacher right now in public education, any education at this point, but mm. yeah, the passion to be in front of children, I, I will get a little of a clem to talk amongst yourselves, but I do get a little emotional about it because I love this profession so much. I want to preserve public education yeah. and I want teachers to realize, how, yeah, I'm getting all, look at me, I'm getting all weird. How amazing it is you don't realize the gift you have to be in front of children and you don't realize the gift you have to be amongst children and this right. camaraderie and this collective agency of people coming together to educate children, which in turn will have children with better lives through education, through mentorship, through mm -hmm. believing in them, through high achievement, but also meeting the children where they are plus one. And this ability to do that in a setting for seven hours a day, as tired as it can be, mm -hmm. but finding the strategies to reach each child individually but then finding yourself within that process and saying, what can I do to better children in turn the community, but myself as a leader, that's what it is. And then to make that decision to leave was simply because people kept on saying, the impact you make 120 kids every year for the past 15, 16 years is great. But now the impact you can make for thousands based on what you offer that works. So go out, go forth, go, go. So I was literally pushed out of the uh. nest and instead of me going, no, but I want to stay. And that's what made me say, okay. And I'm still now close to the kids from 2013, mm -hmm. 2014, and 2015, who I'm not even a godmother to some of the kids and just, just traveled with some of the kids and went mm -hmm. back to their home countries because the relationships, the empathy, the compassion, but also the TLC squared, tender love and care and tough love culture. That's the stuff that made me say, I got to share this with other people. And I call myself a, a Ralph Lauren teacher. Okay. You know how Ralph Lauren throughout the eighties, I mean, it was started in what 60 right. somewhere, but then 83 got really big. It's still considered like educational philosophies are classic, but they've modernized, but still right. stayed classic where it doesn't go out of style. I'd like to say what I did back then still works, but I still enhance Please. it with just a few things to modernize, to meet the needs of the 21st century kid now in 2023. And that's kind of how I think it's working. And it is because I'm also listening to the needs of the teachers and the students of 2023.